In Adobe InDesign, when working with images, you're not only limited to the shapes you can build in InDesign. One trick is to paste in custom shapes from Illustrator and then use them as frames to place in images. Want to learn how? Then check out this pro tip. So here I have a black and white silhouette image as a flat JPEG in Photoshop. And in InDesign, I'm using this shape as a frame to contain an image. To do this is simple. First, in Adobe Illustrator, I'll open my silhouette image. I'll come up to the control panel and click Image Trace. Once traced, click Expand. Then with the magic wand tool, click to select all the white and delete until you're left with just the black silhouette vector. Now, if you have a complex vector shape like this here, where some of the parts are not attached, you will first need to select all the vector shapes, come to the Pathfinder panel, click on the top right menu and click on Make Compound Shape. This will guarantee that it will be one complete vector shape when we come to paste it into InDesign. Once you have a vector image shape in Illustrator, it's easy to get this into InDesign. First, copy your custom vector shape in Illustrator, then into InDesign, paste. Upon pasting, InDesign will recognize the vector shape and the frame outlines. Next, in the toolbar, set the fill and stroke to transparent, and with the new custom frame selected, simply press Command plus D on Mac or Control plus D on PC, navigate to your image, open, and your image will be placed into your custom vector shape. And now you can use the direct selection tool to scale and position your image inside your frame. Excellent. So that's how you can place an image into a custom vector shape in Adobe InDesign. For more pro InDesign tips and tricks, check out the channel and be sure to like and subscribe for more. Until next time, unleash your creativity and I'll see you in the next one.